AMD's second gen Ryzen has been spotted in the Geekbench database. Could AMD pull another 2017 this year? Stay tuned. Welcome back to GamerMeld. Before we get started, I wanted to give a huge shout out to Amino, the second sponsor we've ever had at GamerMeld. For those who don't know, Amino is an app for both Android and iOS that lets you create communities called Aminos like the PC modders and enthusiasts Amino. They've gotten over 5 million downloads in the Play Store alone. When it comes to the app itself, it actually is a really intuitive user interface and a way to create polls, wikis, plan events, etc. I actually like it so much that I'm thinking of creating a GamerMeld community on it. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below, and definitely check out the app in the link in the description. Now let's get back to the news. The Ryzen 5 1600 was a fantastic sweet spot for gamers and professionals when it was released in 2017 with its 12 threads of insanity for nearly unbelievable price. While Intel has certainly come back with a vengeance, AMD isn't done fighting, and today one of the first benchmarks have been released. On the Geekbench database, you can see the upcoming replacement to the 1600, the Ryzen 2600 CPU, has an increased base frequency of 200 MHz, putting it at 3.4 GHz, the same L3 cache and 12 threads. Of course, that's about what we've seen so far. And while Zen Plus is just an iterative update, most were hoping for more so AMD can better compete with Intel's current Coffee Lake lineup. I mean, that's only a 6.25% increase over the last generation and a far cry from AMD's promised 10 plus from the 12 nanometer die shrink alone. Well, they just may have gotten it and more. The benchmark was done on Geekbench, and as you can see, the Ryzen 2600 had a very respectable single threaded score of 4269 with a multi threaded score of 2102. The issue is that we can't gather too much information from this because Geekbench scores can range by quite a large margin with very similar specs. But from what I see, we should be looking at about a 10 to 15% increase in single and multi-threaded performance. With that said, while I don't want to get your hopes too high, I did find a very similar benchmark done on the 1600 right around the same gap between release that we're in now. The score paints the 2600 at a 17.6% increase in multi-threaded performance, and that's with the 1600 clock higher than the 2600. So we really could easily be talking around a 15% increase in performance or more. I know, I know, I need to calm down, but I definitely get excited to see numbers like these. I actually had to curb my enthusiasm as not to overhype it since I know what everyone here wants to see, and it honestly makes me wish I could give you a story with 100% IPC increase or something like that. No matter how you look at it though, this is an exciting prospect. Even if AMD gets a decent 15% boost in overall performance, while it won't be king of gaming, it'll still have its place in the competitive world of desktop CPUs. So while that does it for today, what did you think of the news? And definitely don't forget to check out Amino down in the description below. It's free, so you know you want to. And as always, have a great day.